I just came out from Capital Screening. It is actually a health provider here in in Abu Dhabi, and they are located at the basement of Al Jazeera Sports Complex. So our purpose of coming here is, of course, to conduct the second medical test. You can see it here as my evidence. I have done it. Well, just to evaluate it, I mean, the duration where I stayed seemed to be like less than 30 minutes. So shall we say like 24 minutes or 20 minutes. The time that I I was on queue, 10 minutes. Then for screening of my lungs uh, for only 3 minutes and then blood test. I think it took us 4 minutes to do that. But one thing that is notable is that it seems that the nurse to administer the blood test seemed to have a confusion as to which, which part of the vein he has to inject. He is actually confused and he in fact had to put pressure yeah, onto my arm just to ensure that the vein is going to appear. This is really my problem here in my vein. It seems that the nursing or the medical practitioners seem to be finding its way so difficult to, to locate it. I remember the time that I donated blood with Philippine Red Cross during my ROTC days. Um, on my list, the nurse already started to extract 150 ml of blood and then she told that oh the flow is very slow perhaps the vein was very small he removed it and then he I mean she took my right arm again and from it extracted another 350 ml so that's the thing is and that's what i am experiencing here the nurse really have difficult time to even locate it and he had several attempts to locate it even palpitating it just to eject or just to make it so dominant and the reason why this time I, I felt the pain perhaps was his inability to locate the previous vein that the medical practitioner was normally injecting it was actually in the middle right now he tried his his strategy to have it somewhere in the edge and it's it's my first time today to to have an excess you know in here if you're going to look at microscopically the blood in it spread through the previous experience i had i don't have a noticeable trace of blood and also today, when I am about to go out, I also saw a patient who returned because there was, I mean, from, from, the, from the arm in itself to which the injection was, the extraction of the blood was administered, there was blood flowing through his arm and he returned. And perhaps, I mean, the bandage was not properly fit in or maybe there is a pressure going on only the medical practitioners can do that but it was not alarming I think it would always happen in in laboratories like this in medical field like this that 
there are really emergencies that's going to come. But that is not alarming and that is not a critical issue here. So guys, I just finished it and I have to wait up to like two days to receive my result. And there are only two results that we are waiting. If COVID is having positive and negative here in the medical test, you are going to be declared to be fit to work or not fit to work. So as you aged, you should be careful on your diet, careful on your health, because it is your responsibility. Yes, we do pray to God that He is going to give us good health. Yes, that's true, because He is the giver of everything. But He is also giving us the wisdom as to how are we going to live in this life. And how are we going to live exactly the person who is wise and if you are praying to God that you are going to give you that he is going to give you good health yet you have sleepless nights you sleep late and you keep on eating junk food or even drinking prohibited drinks such as carbonated drinks you're eating taba so much how would you expect your body to be healthy if you are poisoning it yourself there is no miracle that is going to happen in that manner if you yourself intentionally um, intentionally is doing that thing so be wise and it is in your responsibility to, to keep healthy that is why I seldom pray to people to give them good health if they themselves do not understand their responsibility about good sleep and about choice of food because at some point by experience we have been praying you know to people to get healed then eventually that person died <clears throat> that person was in medication and he refused to drink again his medication so i believe that god can heal miraculously and at the same time he can use materials or other resource for that person to get healed if that is through medicine then so be it if that is through the assistance of a doctor then so be it if that is true purely miracle so be it in his sovereignty he can grant that but practically speaking we ourselves have to be wise in our decision what to eat and prohibit ourselves of things which would poison us so am i talking too much yes i think so I'll end it here, and I'm going to catch a bus going to Alhuada Mall. Thank you guys for watching.